We can eat this. We can have this because it has peas, beans, and legumes in it. I'd eat crap right now. Maybe better. What else can we have? No nuts. We've got enough nuts around us. We don't need any nuts. I love this. What have I been eating? We have to put the junk cereal back because it's not very good for me, but I've been eating it for years because it just sticks to the roof of your mouth and it just tastes so good when you kick it off of there. The first stage is for a person to truly recognize the connection between their lifestyle, what they eat, and the problems that they're having. Then there's a potential for change. Now, again, it's not easy to make that change the, the patterns of behavior. We need to learn about different foods. We need our tastes to change. We know that's possible just in a few weeks. The Kickstarter program, it really does help to set in place those, uh, the potential for change because it allows people to follow a very distinct prescribed program for several weeks. I expect miracles in three weeks. <laughs> I expect in three weeks that I won't feel as horrible as I do right now. I kind of scoffed at it at first. I had another sister that was into... Uh... <laughs> tofu and stuff like birdseed. The first reaction to doing vegan was, oh my god, you're crazy. I was actually really skeptical at first. I didn't think there was any other way to get protein or iron or anything you really needed. I laughed and I laughed and I laughed. I laughed also. Just because it's so for I laughed because it was so, so foreign. Extreme. Yeah. Especially in Cape Breton where it's a meat and potatoes <laughs> diet. So yeah. for her to say she's going vegan, it was like, okay, first of all, do you know what vegan is? <laughs> yeah. Second, where did you get that idea? <laughs>